Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's public service announcement. I'm your host, Alexandria Streetsburg, and joining me is our special guest reporter, Reese's Pieces. Tonight, our topic is COVID-19 and its effects on healthcare administrators. Since the start of the pandemic back in March 2020, our healthcare facilities and their leaders have been working nonstop to take care of the millions affected by COVID-19. As healthcare administrators, our main objectives are to take care of our staff and to take care of our patients. COVID-19 is very contagious and is already taking the lives of millions around the world. We can protect ourselves and others by committing to these easy protocols. Wear a mask. COVID-19 is spread through saliva, through sneezing and talking. Work remote if you can. And please stay home if you are sick. And lastly, get vaccinated. Reese has just informed us that the COVID-19 vaccine is now available for those 18 and over and the Pfizer vaccine is available for those 16 and over. The COVID-19 vaccine is currently being administered across Texas and at Texas State University. For more information on where to receive your COVID-19 vaccine, please log on to the Texas Department of State Health Services website to learn more about locations offering the vaccine in your area. And now let's hear some personal experience from a healthcare administration student. This public health crisis has taught me how to adapt to change and be more flexible with learning and working styles. Having the skills to adapt to distance learning will hopefully help me in my career as so many healthcare admins are still working from home. The hardest part of this experience has been feeling helpless against something that could hurt my older family members or my mom with diabetes. It's also been hard not to visit my family that lives out of state. I haven't been able to be there for family events or holidays in two years, and it's made me feel disconnected from them. Technology has become something that is a chore rather than a reward because I'm constantly on my computer for school and relaxation. It's been hard for me to stay in contact with friends especially because I'm not very active on social media. But I don't think this experience has been all bad. Some things that I have enjoyed um, from the last year or so have been the ample amount of time that I get to spend with my partner and with my cat Reese's. I've also been able to dive into my hobbies of cooking, sewing, and gardening when the weather is right. And I feel much more comfortable staying at home all the time rather than feeling the need to constantly go places. I never thought that I would become a homebody um, at such a young time in my life. This public health course has given me a broader view of understanding the decisions made in events like this pandemic. The research, labor, and science that public health workers use to make informed decisions that benefit everyone. Public health is essential for informing the public, identifying trends in disease, and overall improving community health. I appreciate how much we've learned from this course and the knowledge we'll be able to bring with us into our future healthcare administration careers.